Hey guys, how's it going? So I am doing an 06 ECU and harness swap on my Sentra, so right now it's not running. And I decided to take off the intake and check the butterfly valve screws and make sure that they're still intact and everything. And I haven't seen any other videos showing how to do this, so I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So all, obviously I already have my fuel rail out of the way, there's no throttle body or intake on it, but you should know how to take off the intake manifold. So I'm going to start there. That's easy, okay? So I've already cleaned this. Super nice looking, and I'm going to be doing a coolant bypass. So this one and this one are just going to be looped together, and then you're going to loop the two lines back together in there. So there's no coolant going through the intake manifold. And basically what that does is it just makes for cooler intake temperatures. Um, that's to help stop the throttle body from seizing up if it's really, really cold out. Uh, but doing this can lower intake temperatures, and you can gain one or two horsepower from it, supposedly, but it's probably not that big of a difference. But just to make things simpler, I am going to delete it. So those are not going to be used anymore. Now I'm going to show you how to do this part. So obviously you should already know how to get this part off. Um, the bias is down below this, which I've already taken out. It's this. So there's going to be one bolt holding it to the block and two holding it to the bottom of the manifold. And this is going to be on the side of the bottom part of the manifold. You're going to want to disconnect all of that. And then it's time to pull this out. Okay, so it slides out really easily as long as everything's out. And you're going to take it over here and set it down. So I've already got the valves out and I've already got all the screws out. Normally the big screw is going to go right here and that one. And all of the valves are going to sit just like that going all the way across it. There's little arrows. You want all of them to line up. I can't even see it. Yep. Arrow. All of them have arrows. So I'm going to take that back out take this screw back out because this is what holds this screw is what holds it and stops it from sliding back and forth out of it so now what I'm going to do is try and slide this out there we go oh fuck so there is a little uh, I don't know what you would call it maybe like a dowel that goes in here with a spring and when you take that out that flew so now I'm going to have to find that because I do need that so now which, now that this is out all of your screws have already been taken out, and those all go right along here. I'm going to set that down. All of my valves are right here, and I'm going to go and clean this, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to show you how to lock tight the screws and put this back in. All right, and we're back. So now the power valves have been cleaned. I don't know what you would call this, but this has been cleaned. I found the thing that flew out, and this is clean, and that's pretty good. Not really much left in there. Pretty happy with that. All I used was the Mr. Clean Magic Race Marker and water. Um, same on these. All of these power valves are clean. That's what they're called. And this is good. So now we have all of the screws right here. And all we're going to have to do is go and get some Loctite. So I will be right back. I'm back. It's really late and no other stores are open and Walmart didn't have any. So I'm just going to show you how to do it without, but I will show you how to put it on and everything. So first we're going to start with this little thing. It's a little dowel with the spring. It's going to go into this hole right here. So you're going to drop it in and then you're going to want to use something like this. And see if you can get it to go down into that hole enough that you can get the rod to slide through. Um, you're probably going to have to push this down and slide the rod through all at the same time. This is the rod I'm talking about. So we're going to try and do that right now. I might have to put the phone down. So sliding in nice and easy. Come on. Go. There we go. See, so now it gets to this last one and that dowel's in the way. So I'm going to put the phone down and press it down and try and get it to slide through. Alright, got it. So all I did was press it down and then push on the valve to get it to slide through. So let's try and get it to go the rest of the way. Should be able to. There we go. Free it up. Okay. So you're just going to tuck it below that and press it the rest of the way in. And it should be snug in there. Should fit really well. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to look at the arrows on this. The arrows are going to go like that, so they're all going to go the same direction. You're going to put those on there. Let's see. There we go. So. Lines up. Now you're going to get your screw. 
and you're going to put thread lock on the thread. Just a, a little quick line of it right down it. You don't need to cover the entire thing. And then without dropping it, you're going to go, and you're going to go and screw it into each one of these if I can get it to go in. Bruh. Come on. This probably would have been easier if I used something magnetic. So. So, I found that it's much easier to do it if you stick it on the end of it. Already got that one in. Obviously, I would have already put thread lock on it. So, hopefully, it'll go in. Would be awesome. Bro. Oh my god. This is really hard to do with the camera. Anyways, you get the idea. So, thread lock, put those back in there. And then it should be moving okay. So you just got to make sure that it's not going to fully shut and everything. Because otherwise if it won't fully shut, you probably have idle problems. And now that you've cleaned your intake manifold and everything and redone this, you're probably going to have to do an idle relearn with the throttle body. And I can put the link to that in the description. But anyways, that was just a really basic how-to on how to do this. No one else did it. So now there's a video. Um, and really simply all you have to do to get this back on there is this slides over, bolts on like that at the very bottom of it. Those two holes line up with those two. And then this little thing hooks onto the end of that like that. So, and then when this moves up and down in here, because it's vacuum regulated, this will move up and down. Alright, so that's it. See you later.